Denver. Today. Yes. Emma Richard just asked me who Adam Frank was. Who? Anne Frank. And said, is she the blind girl that wrote the notes? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I please I'm move? Telling. <laughs> what else? <laughs> and she wrote notes. Yes, but she, I don't she believe she's blind. That's Helen Keller, honey. Diary of Anne Frank. No other. Do you know who's trying to protect you? Do you think this is like each other level one goal? And I thought it was hilarious. It's three days out of three days on vacation. Okay, you know, Haley. <laughs> so much love in the room. Are you serious? All right, so <laughs> today we start on a journey that is exciting. You call this exciting? I do. You have finally made it to what you would consider and look and say is real deal. We are going to look and say, wow, we're in the big leagues now. <laughs> you are starting. You don't even sound like yourself. This is weird. What? You don't even sound like yourself. It was a sick boy. In this. Today we start chemical reactions. Now, I'm going to try and give you. Similar. What this is like. You know how a hurricane is? It like comes in, all destruction, wrecks the place. It's like, what is going on? And then it's like all peace and calm in the middle of the eye of the storm. The door is open. Bill may catch you. <laughs> so in this, that's kind of what you're looking at now in this class. We had this big, huge storm that rolled in. And it's like the first brunt of it hits you and it's called nomenclature. And then we get to the eye of the storm that's chemical reactions and it's like, oh, we made it guys. This is great. This is wonderful. And then you turn around and you go, oh my God, what is that? And I don't know where it comes this thing called stoichiometry and it's the back end of the storm and you're like, oh. Even in the eye of the hurricane though, you're flooding and you're drowning, okay? There is no call. You're also holding you're also pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Then your house is probably you fall into the pieces. Don't know where you're and your house, your stabilization is all just messed up after that. So, <laughs> that is what we're looking at now and where we're headed. Find out your bad Lay the door of your dog. Oh no. Poor Sparky. Poor dog. <laughs> Alright. So in this. Here's cat. <coughs> Today. We start the journey. In the chemical reaction. <laughs> What? Oxidation stage. Yeah, probably. So in this, in these chemical reactions, so that you already got a heads up, so if you see me write something weird, you're not caught off guard or freaked out about it, this is how we will abbreviate chemical. Whenever you get to college, you're going to see that a whole lot on any chemistry class that you're taking. I <laughs> and then reactions. Rx. <coughs> Rx. Uh -huh. Reactions is abbreviated Rx. If you are struggling that bad to see, why don't you move closer? It's like a monumental idea. Can I 
There's one right here. There's 11. We can't see. Yeah. We're saving mm -hmm. those for the ghosts of chemistry plants. That's All the mold. failing about students. About the present and future. No, we don't like those. <laughs> They're all friends. They're not our friends. They're not allowed to sit with us. All right, so in this. If I move up right now, I have a band in class. If you earn it. If you move closer, you do pay more attention. All right. So today, we're going to start off with this. With indications of a chemical reaction. This is indications. This is not an indicator. You're going to learn about indicators later on. But these are indications that a reaction is taking place. There's three of them you're going to learn today that are background knowledge. Okay. So the first one, you guys have experienced these before. It's nothing that's going to catch you off guard or freak you out. The first one is the release of heat or light. It's pretty much you mix two things together. You can get heat or you get light coming off of it. That's not a shock. So you've all seen these before and you've probably used them. Some of y'all probably used this reaction here recently. The first one of the light. The light getting released is one of my personal favorites. I don't care how old you are. I'll be 70 years old and still love these things. Glow sticks. Inside the glow sticks, what do you do to make it glow? You break it. Whenever you break it, there's a little capsules in there that you're breaking that releases a solution into the outer solution. Once they mix... They can then release light, which is why you're supposed to shake them. Make sure you mix the solutions up really well. Now, the release of heat. This is what we're going to call an exothermic reaction. Hopefully you get to learn about all oh, about that later on. It'll be all sorts of fun. Yeah, PKM, yeah. You guys have used these probably recently. How many of y'all have used some hot hands here recently? That right there is exactly what this process is. You're literally taking them, shaking the substances together. There's two chemicals in there mixed together, and once they mix, they release off heat. So that is an indication that chemical reaction is taking place. What? <laughs> They're separate. Same thing goes Mr. All. Can... Forensic science and chemistry go together and just go and look in the mass you have. <laughs> the chemical reaction that happened. The yeah, funny thing is, is when we start going through certain things. <laughs> Alright, number two. I'm going to tell you a story that's going to make this one stick out in your mind. Production of a gas. More than toxic gas. Is that? Yes, <laughs> so, what you are thinking right now is absolutely a perfect example. So, in this, a production of a gas, there's chemical reactions going on always around you. You literally have chemical reactions going on inside of you right now. Like what happened to me whenever I was a junior here at Westside, oh and me and my cousin was helping build the prom. <laughs> we had to store a lot of our stuff for the Alice in Wonderland prom. We had to store it in the tech ed room. So you know how it's like you go in through the double doors and then they shut. And then you got that little corridor you walk through, there's two more doors you open them and then they shut. Well, I was like trying to strength train for football so I had a really high protein diet which equal to me eating a whole lot of eggs oh, and I had some atomic farts <laughs> I mean I could drop a bomb and clear a room out 
That's how bad these things work. I told you, you're going to remember this. So inside of me is this reaction that's going on, all these reactions, and there is a uh, production of a gas. So, Mr. Hall's part and Frank sits on the side of that. Can I get my? Oh my gosh! Can I get my? Can I get my? No. The masses. Will this be a question? Is it a During the prom, did Mr. Hall have his? Part during prom. Okay, so we're walking through there, me and my cousin are trying to move some stuff from G's room into the tech ed room. So as we're moving it, he's carrying it in, and he goes into the room first. So then I'm carrying the big clock at the other end, and we start walking in. When we walk in, the door's shut behind me, and as they shut, I go, oh, and I just let her go. <laughs> And I just dropped it. And when I dropped it, I was like, I didn't hear a sound. I went, uh, uh. <laughs> So I'm like, oh boy. So we go through the second set of doors. And it shuts. And I'm telling you, I think there's an airlock in every corridor. Because we go in, set the clock down, we walk back in. He opens the door, takes two steps in, and he goes, oh my God! <laughs> Kevin! And I'm like, what? He said, did you fart? I said, I absolutely did. I ripped it, baby. <laughs> yeah, it'll be in the video. I don't care. Huge, huge, This will stick out in your brain. What did I drop in him? I dropped a product Atomic of a bomb. chemical reaction. <laughs> Absolutely. Worst thing was, that was the first thing we carried in there. We had to carry like six more things, and it just stayed in there. I mean, it was bad. I can't go in that room anymore, though. So. Now you know what's been done. So, y'all, uh, hearing my cousin talk about that story is a lot funnier than me, because he just... Takes it to the upteenth degree, degree of extreme, but it's funny. All right, so number three. Do we have a good story for this one? No, we do not. Uh, why don't you say that one last? Because this one we got this one. <laughs> Roll the tape. Roll the tape. Roll the tape. I got where you went there. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Get it fart, poop, stink, stanky, nasty. Yeah, there we go. He's good. And by the way, anybody wants to walk out here and get, hey, Mr. House, fart stinks. Well, your fart stinks too. And so does your poop. You're not better than me. Anybody that smelled it. All right. Last one is formation. There's only three. Yeah. Up. A. Bubbles. But the bubbles would come from gas, being released. If you see bubbles within a solution, it's gas. <laughs> Formation of a precipitate. <laughs> Formation of a precipitate. Huh? Precipitate is a very fancy. Delicate word. <coughs> My bad. Persistent. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling the greatest today. So. This is why I probably just told you a far story of mine and just don't even care. I'm going to like scream record just that part of it. We're going to edit it. You do that. And then we'll never get to use cell phones in our schools ever again. I see. I got you there. Yeah, we'll we'll put a green screen back there, You just your just body's floating in the air. Y'all, y'all go for that. We still have to like. We'll put the bottom half. You're gonna be a balance. Technically, it wouldn't be during school because then your flip camera would. Yeah, but then you're bullying the teacher, so. Oh, yeah. you about it. I absolutely did laugh about it, but they're going to slam you. Yeah. 
Two days out. That's yeah, a threat. Like it, we have you recorded done. saying, I don't threat. <laughs> you can make it send it to Mary. Mary will be like, why are you talking about farting in your classroom? So you gave permission, so it's not bullying. No, it's bullying. You, you just said we could send it to me. Alright. So, precipitate. In this, this is a solid. I feel like Addy keeps building up on these every video we do and she's going to start pulling out little things and at the end of the year she's going to bring in a, a I won't make a big compilation videos you are random ones if you just sing so random songs and how, how many times she says in this all that is produced <laughs> and we jumped off the desk in a desk. solution yeah, and <laughs> I have a video I'll make like one put one like send random words like a song that would be pretty good light too clear same deal not Solution. Mixing together in a solid. Four. So what you got in this is a solid that is produced in a solution. This is literally like taking two clear solutions Mix it together and then, wada boom, wada bing, out of nowhere, boom, pops out this Ice. solid that you're like, wow, it looked like I took water and water and poured them together and now I have something solid in there. Bless you. Thank you. Have you seen that thing? I don't know. It's like they have this pool and it's like um, orange stuff. And if you go fast on it, you don't sink, but if you go too slow, like, you Oh, that's a uh, you mix. Yeah, oh, look. Like corn starch or something. I know, it's I know what you're talking about. The Mythbusters did it. It's really weird. Calm drop. They what do you eat? That's illegal. That's illegal in this school. Cough drop. Yeah, we can have those. Yeah, luckily we have cough drops. I'm going to go get Where are you going to do? Make meth out of them? Hey, we can go like seriously, that came out of nowhere. You may want to. Sometimes we don't crack jokes about anymore since certain shows have been created. Oh, oh I didn't get that break. No, I didn't even get that first. Are we supposed to do that still? Oh, that's fun. All right, so in this. Yeah, I have a microwave, but I'm not going to let you blow up my microwave. No, I don't want to go on. Kristen, did somebody have a microwave? You know, know, like, know what will happen if you put like a little bit of a full in a microwave? Yeah. It will literally blow the door off of it. Okay. So, today, venturing off, okay, you now know indications of a chemical reaction taking place. Now you need to know about chemical equations. Maybe next time. Well, looks like we've got time to go. Really? So is this what our thing is going to be based on tomorrow? Mr. Hall. Dang it. Can we try a CD in a microwave? No. At the end of the year, there's a experiment. Yeah, we can do that. 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 Yeah, we if I bring my microwave from home, you can You can bring a microwave from home, we're literally going to like, we're going to throw metal in there. You're right. Get one at the okay. thrift shop. Okay. They usually You're have to buy one, and there's going to have to be a signed release form from your parent. And I'm going to call them and make sure they signed it to say we can jack this microwave up. Okay, sounds great. I'm going to need a microwave anyway. Okay. So. <laughs> there are two different types of equations you can deal with. I'll show you your personal favorite one first. As soon as I show you the second one, you're going to learn why it's your favorite. The first one we're going to talk about is the formula equation. Formula. Formula equation. You know it's the formula equation because it uses the chemical formulas. <laughs> What's this like? Job, the 
Chapstick. Oh, chapstick. I hate chapstick. You could use a... Chicken poke, 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 Plus oxygen. Is this under formula equations? <laughs> yeah, because I'm using chemical formulas. Are you making sure? Are you okay? Mixes with some heat, not really. Not really. I think you need to go home and we should go home. I just want to go home after this. Aw, you're so sweet. That's all right. Mixes together and makes water. Just don't miss H2O. Miss next Friday. Yeah, Mr. Hall, don't miss the lab day. We don't care if you feel awful and horrible. You can miss quiz day. Yeah, quiz day. That's fine. You can miss tomorrow, but we're doing our lab Monday. Do it next time. If you miss tomorrow, I get to miss tomorrow. Well, you promise us we can do a lab this time, either way. We haven't done a lab in like a month. I think we should do two. Last Friday, next Friday. I failed. Yeah, that's what. Took two quizzes. All right, see so it is. Here's the thing. You're going to learn about this today also. You're going to learn towards the end. But about balancing equations. It's crucially important. The reason we balance equations is because of the law of conservation of mass. The law of conservation of mass states mass of reactants are equal to the mass of products, and mass of products are equal to the mass of reactants. So it goes vice versa. So whatever mass you start with, that's the mass you're going to end with. So in this case, here is how we balance them because this is not balanced. I write down my elements that I have hydrogen and oxygen. Over on the right side, I have hydrogen. I just have, very briefly, you need to see all eight of the senior members of the girls' basketball team in Coach Thompson's room right now, if at all possible. Thank you. Okay. In this, you write down how many there is over here. So in this case, I have two hydrogens and I have two oxygens. And you go over here to the right and you do the same thing. There's two hydrogens, but there's one oxygen. So here's the problem. And this is the part where I'm going to say you may want to listen. But I'm not going to yell it to you because you're just not listening at your own peril. So in this... You have to balance these. You have to put the same number on the left as there is on the right and on the right as there is on the left. In this case, the hydrogens are balanced because of the law of conservation of mass. Hydrogens are balanced, but the oxygens are not. So you have to balance them. You cannot, will not, and shall not put any numbers within the chemical formulas once the chemical formula is stuck there. When you are changing and balancing the equation, you will change the coefficient that is before the compound or molecule. So what I'm saying is there's placeholders here. Wow. I don't know man. Remember I think I got yeah. like in chemistry? So in this, you cannot just look and say, well, I need two hydrogen. Well, I need two oxygen. I'm just going to throw a two back there. Because guess what you just did? Polytone. There's polytone. You made hydrogen peroxide. That is not water, okay? If you drink hydrogen peroxide, it's not going to end well for you. I feel like you might do law. Do what? I feel like you just... I brush my teeth with peroxide. If you... It's fine, but if you swallow it, it's going to end very badly. Uh, You'll end up what puking very viciously. What about four Aaron. <laughs> 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 Cause it was right. You can't put a two back here. The only thing you can do is put numbers in the front to even it out. So I need two oxygens here. I have one. This number will multiply with those numbers to give you what you have. So I'm going to put a two. Okay. Now, this is the thing. Whatever is behind that number you just put now has changed the number of those. 
So there's hydrogen behind it, which a lot of people will forget to change anything about. I put a slash through it. And there's oxygen behind it. I put a slash. A lot of people are going to stop right here, and they're going to count it up, and they're going to look and say, i got a two coefficient before this molecule, one oxygen, so two times one is two. And you're not going to do anything with the hydrogen, and that's where you're going to mess up. Why? Because if you can't get the coefficients right, you don't got the chemical formula right. You don't got the chemical formula right, times you ain't got the chemical equation right. Sorry. You don't got the chemical equation right, you're wrong. Because you got two here now, and there's two hydrogens per every one, so two times two is four. Is everything balanced? No. No, because balancing that changed your hydrogen. So now we have to balance the hydrogens out. Two. Here we have to the alpha. Two times two. Put so add, add a two? No, in front. Oh, Why? Because you never add anything to the chemical formula. You what only put saying? a number in front of the coefficient. How do you get that out? You give me time. So we're gonna put a two here. What does that change? <coughs> change oxygen. No. No, it doesn't change oxygen because it's separated with plus sign, so it's stuck. Let's go. So only thing it changes is hydrogen. There's two and two. How many is there? Four. Four. Are we balanced? We are balanced. We are balanced now. So now we have a balanced equation. Now, yes? How do you know that H O or water, how would we know that? H2O. Yeah, I know that, but if you can other than water, I don't know. This is the thing that you're going to learn in here. You haven't learned it yet, but you're going to later on. You're going to learn five common uh, chemical reactions. From those five, every one of those five follows a pattern. So from it, I can give you the reactants and you can give me products, or I can give you products and you give me reactants. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Is that good? Can we burn the bridge instead? The combustion yeah. reaction is one of them, so, so we will right burn now, stuff. So right now, you're just going to give it to us? Yeah, right now I'm giving this to you. But later on, okay. everything changes. Go over here and get some still bridge, but we can burn things on <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. This is your personal favorite. <laughs> This is why it's your personal favorite. You remember Mr. Hall saying something's not going to leave this class? And it's not. That's, that's the storm that's Word. coming this way right now. Word vomit. Word equation. No. I do have one question. What happened to our lab? He uh, said he was wrong. That. Sounds great to me. Did you ever get points for that thing? No. Okay. Word equation Not uses nomenclature. So in this, this formula, I'm going to use the same exact thing. Hydrogen. Plus oxygen with some heat goes to water. Here's the important thing. You need to be able to go from one to the other. I'll give you word equation and ask you to go to formula equation. You have to be able to flip back and forth. That's where the nomenclature comes to play into this. You've got <coughs> to know the nomenclature. Got it? Well, says H2, because it's a dot dot. What's that? Triangle is heat. I will print off for you. There's different symbols we can put over top of the arrow to tell you. <coughs> Is there a square? <coughs> 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 what is it? 
You just okay, like, just like, water, just, like, just set it up the same, like, how do you just do it across the charge? Yeah. 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 That's your chemical equation, all right? In this, I want you to know the parts of a chemical equation. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Mr. Hall, I know what you need to heal you. Jesus. Hey, drink some mercury. I feel like drinking a cup of corn will kill you. I'm pretty sure it would kill every germ that you have. Yeah, that's true. Well, bleach hasn't killed me. Well, it killed all germs, but it hasn't killed That's all I need for you. Parts of chemical equation. I'll live. Do you have your passion for tape? No, I'm all out. I have some in my car. You carry that? All right, here we go. Here is the parts of a reaction. Don't freak out on me whenever you see the lowercase letters and the big case letters. These are just variables filling in for things, okay? What are you doing, Mr. Hall? No. Not again. Alright, I want to cover this right now. I thought it was Big A, little A. That's what I was thinking. Big B, little B. I want to cover this with you guys real fast. You're going to see me write in this class all the arrows like this. But I got mad whenever I got to college because I found out this is not true. That the reactions can go forward, but they can also go backwards. So we'll also represent different things like this. Because there's a forward reaction, there's a backwards reaction. Where in college you'll learn about stuff like Le, Le Chatelet's principles. Le Chatelet. Le Chatelet. What she did. <laughs> It's another one of Mr. Hall's mysterious oh. women. Do it, Tom. Be more. Be more. So, do you want us to put the other one or not? No, you don't have to. I'm just letting you know that it's there. I've done the deal. Yeah. You can if you want to. Because about 90 some percent of the chemical reactions that we do and experience and go through with, yeah, 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 it has a forward and a backwards reaction. They just won't teach you. Okay, they give you like a surface thing. Okay, it's like whenever you were, well, when you were in middle school, you were supposed to learn that the uh, planets orbit the sun, and they were going to tell you it orbits in a circle. It's not true. They do not orbit in a circle. Their pads are not. What's their pads? This is like stuff I look up. Oh. All right. Okay, same thing. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Same thing. Nope. Trust me. If you're trying to land an astronaut on the surface of the moon, it's not the same thing. All right, so in this, you have the different parts of a reaction in a chemical equation. So the left side. Those are fillers. The lowercase letters are the numbers for the coefficients. The big case letters, those are like chemical formulas that you can toss in there. So the first thing you got here on the left are the reactants. So the left side is known as the reactants. Then you have the arrow in the middle. The arrow in the middle is what we know as Yields. If you don't like the idea of yields, that also goes to. So the sun plays with the earth and other planets like a puppet master. I killed Mikey. No. He said the sun pulls us along and makes us feel like it produces. So pretty much, these are like three ways of looking at what that arrow means. And the right side here that is in red is what we like to refer to as our products. Goes to Dang it. Yield goes to 
I just can't spell it. Yields or goes to or produces. Yes. I just can't spell it. Part where listening is not. Product. So, in this, here's how I like to remember it. If this helps you, great. If it doesn't, well, sorry. Figure out your old thing. We need some church candy. We got some strawberry stuff back here. I'm sure we can find. Yeah, you want one thing? Yeah. I have cough drops. Thank you. Here. So, here it is. You have, I remember this as reactions start with reactants to produce products. That's how I remember it. If that helps you, great. If not, well, sorry. So, oh, gosh. We're way ahead on the truth, Mom. Huh? We're way ahead on the truth. Not a lot. Never say that. Especially with him. Never say that. Girl, please. I'm always ready. Girl, please. That's another one that's going on my videos. Girl, please. I don't know. I doubt you're going to this video. I'm literally looking, I'm just looking at notes so that I can look and say, yeah, I need to do this next instead of jumping this. I'm not exactly great. No, we ain't done today. It's 1216. We got time to bounce some equations. So let's talk about bouncing the equations. I really don't I'm so sorry to hear that. But too bad. So look at balancing the equation. So in this, we're just going to get some practice in with it. We did that one. Wasn't a hard, horrible, <laughs> long process. Yeah. So that's God telling you no right there is when he's making you pack up that one. No, that is God telling me be strong, Kevin. Be strong, Kevin. <laughs> okay, go to the doctor. Well, being sick is that. He never tells me to be strong. It's going to take a lot more to send me to the doctor. I had the flu when I didn't go to the doctor. Did you get your flu? I did. Nope. Oh, God. Uh, I've never had a sickness that made my body ache. Just ache. All right, so this, we have potassium. Chlorate will yield. That's what the flu looks like. Is that chlorine? I'm just... So, I'm going to put you some placeholders here. Just so y'all know, I'm not going to put placeholders on these like this. Okay, after today, you just need to know if there's not a number there is understood to be a 1. So, in this case, we're going to have to balance these out. So, let's write down the elements that we got. Potassium, chlorine, and oxygen. What we're writing up here right now, this chemical reaction, is one of my favorites. And one day, we will do this reaction. S'mores. No, this is not a s'mores. Wow. Is that the lab tomorrow, s'mores? Is this where we no. blow up the balloon? It was. It's not oh, the Friday, it is. but it's the Friday after that. Is it the Friday after that? Yeah. After the goblet. Gotcha. Like the Listen, we'll do the I'll tell you when it's coming. Because honestly, I've been thinking about it and I'm like, you know, some of y'all in here are not being mean, but this also goes for second period. So if you're watching this video, it applies to you also. Stay tuned. There's some of y'all in there that's just like, y'all could use a little bit of bonus points or something yeah. or another to help y'all out. And I'm like, hey, draw. so I won't have to go buy the marshmallows and chocolate and graham crackers because if I offer the bonus points, Y'all hey, marshmallows, some graham cracker, that stuff. When we pre preset. So, whenever we're getting ready to do that lab, you will know because oh, well, yeah. some of y'all need some help. Mr. Hall, I was actually mad because I thought you were going to say you weren't going to let us do it, and I was going to say that you honestly. <laughs> well, I'm going to say you weren't going to let us do it. 
We'll refer back to those videos because I'm sure it's in one of the videos. It probably is. It Turns out he takes it down. <laughs> I did. I, I promise you. I promised some other people too. I told you we would do s'mores hey. in here. We. Hey, I promise. I, Kevin Dwayne Hall, <laughs> chemistry teacher of Westside High School, tuning into you right now today on February twentieth, two thousand twenty, is promising you that I. <laughs> will allow you to make s'mores in this classroom. And we will be sure to dispose of them properly following all regulations and rules. Hey, the boy got you back, Mr. Hall. I don't want me drinking the milk. Alright, in this case... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you can get that far on this to get to the bounce and the reaction part. So in this you can see potassium's bounce, chlorine's bounce, the oxygen is not. So we need to deal with the oxygen. In this case you're looking at a little bit of a circumstance to where we're going to try and balance this the best that we can, but you need to find like a common denominator or just do what I like to do. Hey, I got two oxygen here, I got three oxygen here. Let's just put these bad boys over here. I'm going to put a two right there. So now that's going to change my number of oxygen to where it's six. Are we good on this side now? No. No, why? Because we ain't balanced. You need at least two on the potassium. What? I changed the potassium. Why did you put two? No, the other side needs to change. Okay, so I put a three over here. So now I got six oxygen. Because the two from there comes up here, three from here goes up there. Why in a balance? Because your potassium and chlorine. Potassium and chlorines have changed. You must change them as well. Because right here, that's why I kept asking and I kept waiting. Thank you. Two potassiums, two chlorine. In this case, it's only one to one, so we have to change something over here. Put a two there. That gives that two. That gives that two. Lab tomorrow. Lab shouldn't take the whole class, so after the lab, we'll work on going over balancing equation rules. I will let you know when we're going to do the s'mores. I'm not taking my work. The truth of it is, is I do the s'mores because.